Okay, so hey and welcome to my channel. I have to apologise straight away if I sound a little bit different, look a little bit different, act a little bit different because I have a cold, the flu. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, but I needed to film, I wanted to film, and I am here filming. So try and like look past my nasally sounding voice, my rough under eyes, my like, you know, all that stuff, and we will talk about makeup, foundation, and try and like look at the positive side side of life. So yeah, that is what's going on with my voice. And yeah, I do apologise. But nevertheless, this is going to be a fun video. And we are going to see if the foundation is an up or a down. And yes, yeah. so if you want to see that, then stick around and we will jump in right now. I bet you any money that the weather is the reason that I'm feeling so bad right now. Because one minute it is sunny, one minute it is raining, then it is cold, then it is hot, then it is humid, then it is freezing cold. And my body is like, what's going on? Which is which, like, I don't know what to feel. And I'm feeling like crap. But um, I definitely blame the weather. And I'm like, come on sort your head out, sort your mind out, do what you need to do, but stay as one. Anyway, so the foundation I picked up was the Maybelline New York Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. Now to me, I had never seen this before. I thought it was brand new completely. And then I got home and discovered that this was already out for a long time, but they have changed the packaging and I believe gave it a new formula. Don't quote me on that. I will like search it up, but I believe they have a new formula. But um, it was in the new section in Boots, so I was like, okay. Because obviously when I go out, I look for new makeup to do like first impression and reviews on, and of course to try it out myself. So I was looking for a new foundation, new makeup in general. And I saw this in the new Maybelline section with the new Maybelline liquid lipsticks, which I was gonna buy, but girl, 9.99 each. Okay, I will like take a rain check on that. But um, this was 9.99 as well. There you go, the sun's gone back in, girl girl. <laughs> um, honestly, it's a joke. So yeah, I got this foundation and I'm going to try it out. And the second I read full coverage, I was sold. I was like, okay, basket, you're coming home with me, girl. And I need you. Um, I sound so weird. <laughs> I am so sorry. Um, my voice is all over the show. I have now come on to the Boots website and I'm going to read you a little bit about the foundation. So if you want to buy it, the price is $9.99, as I said a moment ago. Then there is 12 shades on the Boots website. Then it says the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation completely corrects visible flaws and imperfections. So it ain't going to cover like your inner demons, your inner flaws, your inner issues, you know, just the outside, the, you know, outer imperfections and flaws. So um, that is nice to know. Thank you, Maybelline. <laughs> then making it the perfect base for a high impact makeup look. Well, today I am just doing like a bog standard everyday makeup look because a girl feels like done to the dusted. So yeah, but that's nice to know as well. Um, relentless all day wear. Oh my God, relentless. That is like a statement. Lightweight, high pigmented coverage, flawless transformation. Okay, girl, I am into that. Then it says skin type, suitable for all skin types, finish, soft matte, coverage, full, end result, transforms your skin. Okay, yeah transforms your skin, then it says wear all day up to 24 hours. So we have some big, bold statements and like, you know, I am going to see if they live up to it. I'm not quite going to wear it for 24 hours because I will be in bed dying with, you know, lem sips, tissues, lozenges, the lot, you know, Vicks vapor rub, a girl's gonna be, you know, a bit toasted by about nine o'clock at night, but I will wear it as long as I humanly possibly can until I wanna take it off, basically. Ignore the sun, like, shining on my chin, making my, like, five o'clock shadow looking hella worse than it is. And, um, yeah, so basically, that is what it says on the, um, Boots website. And now, I'm going to pop the friggin' lid off, finally, after all this rambling. Oh, girl. And the foundation does have a pump, and I've like twisted it all the way around. Um, it does have a pump, which is good news to me because I love a good pump. And um, that sounds wrong. That sounds a little bit wrong. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the consistency and the formula. So let's try and pump it out on the back of my hand. Okay, there we go. So it is quite liquidy, but it's also quite thick. So it's not like complete water, but it's not like, you know, a mousse. It's like that, you know, in between thick and thin, if you guys know what I'm on about. And then, um, yeah, I quite like that. So I'm going to dot that on my face. No colour correction, no primer. I'm going to see what this foundation can do on its own without any help from anything but my moisturiser. And uh, yeah, let's put it to the actual test and not like, you know, do that half and half girl No. Give me what you're going to do. If you're going to be good, you're going to be good. Now, I won't lie, I was a little bit nervous about getting the shade Ivory because in the um, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, I wear the shade Sand, which is obviously like quite a bit up from Ivory, and the Infallible Ivory is like super pale. But when I was swatching these in store, they were like so random in colours. Like, this looks super, super, like, not dark, but quite dark, like, I would not say this was ivory, um, and I would not say that sand was sand. Sand was dark, and like, a really like, deep dark undertone, which would not have looked good on me at all. Ivory was the best match, and I would say that ivory looks good on my skin tone, because I have more of a yellow undertone to my skin, as opposed to a pink. And I found, like, the first couple of shades were quite pinky undertoned, which would have made me look like an absolute mess girl. So, this is looking hella, hella cute. I am liking the coverage so far. Thick as anything, full as anything. Not thick, like, that made it sound bad. Um, full coverage. You know, covering stuff, not, like, thick as in, like, oh, get it off, you know what I mean? I'm liking it. So, yeah, and the colour match on to the point, okay? So, I am just blending it out. My skin is super dry, but then again, my skin has been dry now for months and months, so, you know, what can I do? I moisturise it, I give it what it needs, what it wants, but it still doesn't, like, do out. So, yeah. Okay, so the foundation so far is getting a thumbs up from me. I love it. Like, the coverage is immense. Like, this is coverage, and I love that. Like, I love myself a good full coverage foundation. If you are a regular on my channel, then you know this. I've got to have that full coverage cake beat, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am loving it. The colour is, like, literally the perfect match for me. Like, I have to go a little tiny bit more darker than my natural skin tone. But, um, well, I don't have to. I like to, okay? So, for that reason, I am like, yes to that. Oh, girl, blind me, like, um... Yeah, <laughs> for that reason, I'm loving it. Okay, so I went away and completed my makeup, and this is how the foundation is looking. Um, I am clearly joking. So I have put on my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I'm going to blend that out onto my skin. Um, you know, to get rid of those, like, deep-set brown, black, frigging bags under my eyes, can't even speak. Um, yeah, so I am going to go ahead and now finish my makeup, and I will come back and let you guys know how the foundation has let things blend over it, you know, how things have blended over it, not how the foundation has let things blend over it. Whatever. Like I said, my brain is completely done today, so bear with me. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I shall return to give you guys a bit more of my thoughts on the foundation. So let's do that. Okay, so I went away and completed my makeup, and I am quite happy with it. I do feel like it could be better, but um, at this point, I'm like, girl, just like, deal with it. I, I can deal with it. So yeah, this is how it looks, and um, everything blended perfectly over the top of it. Like, the coverage is immense. Like, it is so good. I love it so much. Like, no flaws are peeking through, barring like, a little bit of my five o'clock shadow, which I mean, is so Something I can't really do much about unless I got laser hair removal, which girl I want so bad, but what can you do? You know, 
whatever, I can't afford it yet, so we just have to make do. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it, and I definitely will be getting much wear out of this. And um, it is definitely worth $9.99 so far. But um, I will give a check-in later on this evening after I've wore it for more than, like, what, two hours? And give you guys a little bit more information. Um, but I think this is a foundation I will be impressed with, regardless of the long wear time. The wear time. Um, because I can tell it probably will last me. Um, it does say 24 hours, girls, so I'm expecting at least about 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours out of it, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so, I will give you a check-in later on. Okay, so, the time is about 12 o'clock at night, so I have had the foundation on for about 12 hours because I put it on at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and, um, as you can see, I am extremely oily, and, um, I am shining from, like, every single area of my face. Um, but yeah, like, you know, whatever. Can you ignore it, please? So, yeah, this is how it looks, and I really enjoyed it. The coverage is lovely. The lasting power was really good. It is really warm in my house right now, so, like always, I always say that. Look at that mascara. Um, yeah, so I have got quite warm and oily and whatever, and plus, I'm not well, so I've been, like, blowing my nose and wiping my face and all that stuff, so you've got to give it its due. I am still pretty covered, and I love it, like, I am really impressed with it, and for 9 99 what can you say? So, I would definitely recommend it to you. Go and get it, and, uh, yeah, I love it. This is one of my new favourite foundations, and I could just, like, you know, powder this. I look awful right now, but, um, yeah, I could, like, powder this and be okay. So, yeah, this is my check-in. Overall, I am really impressed. This clip is really bad quality, but, yeah. I plan to um, film two videos today, but I don't think I will actually get to do that because I need to go and lie down. Um, I feel like crap. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like I've let myself down because I haven't filmed as much as I wanted to. And um, I had like a full makeup look in mind of what I wanted to do um, for another video that I was doing like a lip swatchy type of thing, which I will still do. But, um, yeah, I feel like I've let myself down, but I know I haven't. Um, but yeah, so I hope this video was still enjoyable to watch and that it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you enjoyed it, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a lovely comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to see when I upload. And I will see you all in my next upload, which hopefully I will sound a little bit better, but if not, then I won't. You know, I can't make a miracle happen. If I'm better, I'm better. If I'm not, I'm not, girl, I gotta crack on. Um, and yeah, they should be much more, like, upbeat. And yeah, I'm excited to film those two videos that are coming up next. <coughs> so, so, I will see you all in the next one, croaking like a goddamn friggin' frog. Yeah, so, bye.